All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to rotate and flip molecules. This is an important skill that we need, especially if when we're talking about stereochemistry, to determine whether we have the same molecule, enantiomers or diastereomers, all right? A couple of definitions for you, right? A horizontal flip. So if you look at this shape here, if you take a horizontal flip, I'm gonna just shade one part of this molecule here, right? So if we do a horizontal flip, right, then the left side, we're gonna flip it like a pancake, becomes the right side, right? So this is the left front, and now that's gonna be the back. A vertical flip is like when you take a, a, a pancake again and you flip it, so the bottom now goes up and becomes the top, okay? So that's a horizontal flip and a vertical flip. And then another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do sort of a 180 rotation. So let's draw a molecule here with some stereo centers. So I'll add a chlorine, we'll add a methyl, and then we'll add a bromine. So I'm gonna take this molecule here and I'm gonna redraw it in a couple different ways, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a 180 bond rot or a 180 rotation. So I'm gonna take the whole molecule and just rotate the molecule 180 degrees, all right? So if I number my carbons here, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? When we do that, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? And when we do a rotation, right, our stereo centers are gonna be exactly the same. I'm just rotating this molecule like it's on a steering wheel, okay? So that's what the molecule would look like if we rotated the whole thing 180 degrees. So this is a 180 rotation, all right? And sometimes we need to rotate bonds or whole molecules to be able to identify um, if they're, if, what their relationship is, if they're identical, if they're diastereomers or enantiomers. So that's one thing we can do, right? So we can do this 180 rotation, right? Next, I wanna do a horizontal flip, all right? So I'm gonna take this same molecule here and I'm now gonna do a horizontal flip. So again, this is just like you're flipping a pancake. So if you take your spatula, you go under the molecule and flip it over you'll see it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. But what we have to understand is when we do a flip, right, I'm flipping my pancake, right, the chlorine is coming towards me on our original molecule on carbon two, okay, but now it's gonna be going away from me the other side, right? When you flip a pancake, the bottom side is cooked. When you flip it, now that cooked side comes on the top. So when I do a, a horizontal flip, I'm rotating the molecule, or I'm flipping the molecule, you'll see that as we do that, all of these groups are now in the opposite direction. And again, these are exactly the same molecule. I've just flipped it, right? If you take a pancake and flip it, it's still a pancake, right? But you see what happens is when we do this flip, the carbon, um, we go one to two on the left, now it's one to two on the right, so the chlorine is in the opposite direction, all right? Let's do a vertical flip, right? In a vertical flip, we're gonna take the molecule and flip it so the, bot the bottom, the top side is now going to be coming down, right? So if we take that molecule here, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, all right? 
So what that means is, again, the chlorine was facing towards me, but when I do this flip, again, it's going to be going away from me. The methyl will now be up, and the bromine will be facing me as well. So all of these molecules here are identical. They are all identical. It's exactly the same molecule, just drawn four different ways. Right? So when we draw a molecule, there's multiple ways we can draw the exact same molecule. And what you'll notice here is in the molecule I started with, right, one went up to two on the left. Okay? This other molecule, we go one to going down to two. I can have one to two on the right going down or one to two on the right going up. Right? So we can see 1 to 2 to 3 is like a mountain. 1 to 2 to 3 is like a valley on the left side. 1 to 2 to 3 is a mountain on the right side. Or 1 to 2 to 3 is a valley on the right side. So any molecule, there's really four different ways we can draw this. All right, We can do a 180 rotation, a horizontal flip, and a vertical flip. And these molecules are all identical. They're all exactly the same molecule, all identical, all right? The other skill we kind of want to get used to is if we want to do a bond rotation, okay? So another thing I could do is I could rotate this carbon-2-3 bond. So let's do a bond rotation here, all right? And this is pretty simple. I'm just going to draw in this hydrogen, Okay, and, and how does this work? When we do a rotation, well, the atoms just move, right? So if I do the rotation, this chlorine can go to where the methyl is at 1, the methyl will go where, to where the H is, and the H goes to where the chlorine is. So I haven't touched the bromine, I haven't touched the methyl at carbon 3, but now my chlorine has moved to where my methyl is. So my chlorine goes here, right? Chlorine's moved to that position. The methyl at one goes where the H is. The methyl is now back, M-E, and then the H has moved to where the chlorine is, there. So this is the effect we get when we do a bond rotation. Right? And again, it's the exact same molecule. I've just rotated the bond. All of these molecules are identical. So this is an important skill when we're just trying to determine the relationship between molecules. Sometimes we have to redraw molecules, and understanding how to do that properly is important.